Boys, kids, girls, ladies, welcome to the review on Canon's brand new EOS 60 Mark II. So that's the package of the 6D Mark II with all the important specs mentioned at the front cover. We have a CMOS sensor, 26.2 uh, megapixel, goes up to ISO 40,000, as it's extendable till ISO 100, 2400, 45 AF points, up to 6.5 photos a second, and we have now a very angle LCD screen. In the box itself, you find the user manual and a guarantee card, and that's available in all different languages. Inside this wonderful box, there's the connection to charge the camera battery, that's the charger, that's the battery, it's the LP6N battery. And here's a carrying strap with the Canon brand on it and it states Canon EOS 6D Mark II. That's the body, the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. It feels like the ATD. And it's basically an ATD with a full frame sensor. Here's the very angle LCD screen. Here's the head display. On the side, just one SD card slot. That's one of the biggest disadvantages that this camera brings out after five years waiting just to have one SD card slot. Here's the battery compartment for the LP6 and LP6N battery. And what else to say, on the side, a port to attach an external microphone, mini HDMI, and last but not least, just USB 2.0 after five years. Oh my God, Canon, where have you been? After you've seen what you can expect to get for almost 2,000 euro or 2,000 US dollars, we start with the actual review. To be honest with you, I've never been a big fan of the Canon EOS 6D. When I compared the screens with the 5D, I noticed a huge color difference. The 5D screen looked more natural in its color than the 6D screen with its yellow stitch. Apart from that, I was missing a joystick for better and faster controllability. For the time being, there is already a lot of critique going on in the internet about the 6D Mark II. Let's see what's behind it. Comparing the size of the 6D Mark II with the 5D or 80D, I would say it feels more like the 80D than a 5D. The build quality is great and the size is ideal for small so as for bigger hands. If the body itself is still too small for you, get the BGE21 battery grip. Inside the 6D Mark II you'll find a 26 megapixel sensor and the known Digic 7 processor, which are both being protected by dust and moisture housing. You may use all Canon EF lenses so as third-party lenses by Tamron and Sigma that are made for Canon's full-frame cameras. Be aware that you can't use lenses with an EFS bayonet because they are only made for APS-C cameras. Looking through the optical viewfinder we noticed that it covers only 98%. You're probably not gonna notice it, but having a full-frame camera for 2000 euro we would have expected at least 100%. Apart from that, I prefer rather an optical than an electronic viewfinder, which saves the battery and your eyes. On a small dial next to the viewfinder, you can adjust the dioptry. A big jump has been made with the screen. Canon provides you now with a very angle 3 inch touch display that covers 100%. Using the touch function is super easy and intuitive. To control the sharpness of your footage, the screen has a resolution of 1 million dots. That's one of the biggest changes that has been made on the new version and may be the biggest reason to buy the new 6D. Using the new screen for shots close to the ground or taking photos from a crowd has now become super easy. For me it was the main reason to get a second full frame body. But here comes the next point that bothers me a lot. They missed to build in a 50 cent headphone jack to control the audio level while recording video or taking a vlog. I mean, there are no excuses anymore for a body that costs twice as much as the ADD, which is equipped with a headphone jack and the same autofocus system. As we compare the ADD with the new version of the 6D, I noticed a minimum shutter speed of a 4,000th of a second only, whereas the ADD is capable of doing an 8,000th of a second for sports and other fast moving subjects. Here comes the next big question mark for the slow shutter speed. I know that Canon has to keep its march into the 5D series. 
and I'm rarely using a faster shutter speed than a four thousandth of a second. But still, for 1000 euro more, if this is fair or not, you decide. When we're talking about speed, the maximum flash think speed is only 180 of a second, which is less than the flash think time of the ADD. I think that this degraded feature does not have any impact on your work. Just wanted to mention it before someone else complains. After waiting for 5 years for the new version to be released, we'll still not be able to shoot our videos in 4K, which sucks a lot. Also here, Canon wants to protect its 5D and 1DX Mark II. Personally, I think that they should have still given us at least 30 frames per second and upgraded the 5D with 60 frames per second. That's way behind the market where you find 4K DSLRs for much less. Even I don't use the 4K video mode on my 5D Mark IV due to its large file size and the crop of 1.4. I would have expected more than just Full HD with 60 frames per second on the new 6D Mark II. Nevertheless, if you don't require 4K, you'll still be able to shoot great and fluent looking videos choosing between MP4 and MOV as your favorite file format. New is the 5-axis digital image stabilizer which supports you while recording videos. As you have seen a couple examples, what do you personally think about the image stabilizer? Does it enhance your video recording? Please state your comment below. One of the biggest changes that Canon has been made on the new 6D Mark II is the enhanced 45-point autofocus system. Concerning the order, I would have preferred the AF points to be more spread across the sensor than to center them like seen in this video. Using the focus system on the 6D lets you take a sharp photo within one second. The AF tracking worked brilliant with continuous tracking of moving subjects. Using the time-lapse mode is a nice and new feature on the 6D series. You can set an interval and the camera puts out a 4K time-lapse without the requirement for post-processing. The only real disadvantage that bothers me on all new Canon DSLRs is that I cannot set the frame rate. This feature has nothing to do with hardware, just a small change in the software that would really help to improve the time-lapse feature. An absolute joke about the 4K time-lapse video is that the final file size is so big that neither the camera nor my MacBook Pro is able to play back the footage fluently, with nearly 900 megabytes per 10 seconds of footage. In continuous shooting mode, the camera is capable of taking 6.5 photos a second. Using a fast write and SD card, the buffer lets you take 150 photos in JPEG or 21 photos in RAW. I put a couple SD cards that I can recommend in the description below. And here's one of the biggest failures of the new 6D. There's no dual SD card slot for backup your photos and videos. Buying a camera for 2000 euro and more, I bet you'd like to earn some money with it and shooting at a wedding without a backup is a no-go. If this missing feature is bothering you as much as me, I recommend looking for a Canon EOS 5D Mark III which has a full frame sensor, a great low light performance for a much lower price than the 6D Mark II. Talking about the low light capabilities, till ISO 6400 all photos and videos are looking good, without seeing too much grain. If you require a higher ISO, you can extend up to ISO 100 The native ISO setting stops at ISO 40000. If you take your photos for Facebook and Instagram, you don't really struggle too much with a, such a high setting. For high quality shots and prints, I recommend not going beyond ISO 20000. A good and up to date feature is the integrated Wi Fi, NFC, and Bluetooth interface. Using the Wi Fi connection without any additional cost will allow you to transfer all videos and photos directly onto your smartphone or tablet with the free Canon Camera Connect app. Using the Bluetooth connection will allow you to control the camera and make any adjustments from your phone directly to your camera. The app lets you control the aperture, ISO and shutter speed without the need for an external Wi-Fi connection. Using the Bluetooth instead of the Wi-Fi connection will save you some battery. By the way, in our test we could take more than 1000 photos with one battery charging. 
The inbuilt GPS module gives you information about the elevation, longitude and latitude. Once you have saved the photos onto your computer, you can see exactly where you took these photos on a chart like Google Maps. Make sure to turn off the GPS once you've finished using it to save your battery. As we are approaching the end of this review, I'm gonna ask myself, is it worth buying the Canon EOS 6D Mark II? I try to answer the question logical. If you require a full frame camera with a tilt-type display, a good low light performance and you want to improve your photo skills, go with the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. Is it worse to upgrade from the Mark I version? Yes, if you require the mentioned features. But after waiting for 5 years, I was expecting the Mark II version to have at least 4K video with 30 frames per second, a dual card SD slot and an improved body instead of using the ATD case, which feels a bit cheap for a camera that costs 2000 euro. I know that Canon wants to keep the margin between the 5D Mark IV and the 6D series. But if you look at Canon's competitors like Panasonic, you get 4K on a camera that costs a third of the Canon EOS 6D Mark II. Nevertheless, now the Canon EOS 6D Mark II has become my second full frame body because I needed a backup for my Canon EOS 5D Mark IV, which is at Canon's repair shop due to a broken shutter. The 6D Mark II takes great quality photos and videos with an outstanding dynamic range. Convince yourself with some example photos that I put in the video description below. For most of the time I don't require 4K video, but I would prefer to have this option in case I would need it. And I prefer Canon's tilt type display for video blocks and different angles. These mentioned features are the reason for me to purchase the 6D Mark II. What's your opinion about the new 6D? Why would you buy it? Or do you think that this camera has too many drawbacks for 2000 euro? I'm happy to hear from you. Take your time and share your opinion with a comment below this video. The 6D is now available at Frankfurt's best camera store, GM Photo, near the Frankfurt airport. Make sure to download some examples. See you soon and tschüss from Frankfurt. So why not using this camera as a vlogging camera as well? I have the, here the Canon EF 24mm lens. It's kind of windy here, so you have a rough idea on how the audio quality is. Thanks for watching. See you next time aus Frankfurt. Tschüss.